I've been living alone for two months now, house sitting and dog sitting for my friend, which meant that I was living alone for the very first time in my life. And sadly, that is about to come to an end. On the fact that my friend wants her house and her dog back. Unfortunately, I can't steal her dog and change all the locks on the doors because I think that's a crime, but I don't really want to move back with my parents just yet. It turns out that my friend actually has a spare bedroom that if I wanted to use, I could just stay here. I'm just gonna have to give it a bit of a cleanup first because let me show you. Don't worry, she doesn't actually live like this. This is just a storage room. But yes, I will be transforming this storage room into some sort of a bedroom. If you couldn't tell because uh, of I'm not one of those professional home renovators, but I will try my best. Hopefully I can turn it into somewhat of a livable space. If Nico can sleep in there without any problems, then I should be able to as well. Well, the biggest thing I have to get rid of now is this giant bed. How am I going to do that, Nico? Well, what are your suggestions? Thanks for your input. My friend said that a lot of this stuff has to go to the dump. Uh, this is someone's luggage, so I'm just gonna put that in there. I don't wanna throw this stuff away just in case they're like, uh, where are my clothes? Um, is, this, is there anything in this TV mount? Oh, yes, there's a TV mount. This dog crate, do you still need this? Should I throw it away or do you wanna keep it? Blink once if you wanna keep it. Oh, okay. Uh, this is just garbage, I think. Oh my God, I am overwhelmed. How about this TV? Is this a working TV or is this a garbage TV? Surprisingly, it only took me less than an hour to clean and mop the floor. And for some reason, watching me clean in like three times speed reminds me of playing The Sims on X Games mode. Oh my god, Nico. I thought I'd start off 2021 doing something a little bit refreshing and different. Cause as you could probably tell, 2020 was definitely not great. Everything just felt stagnant in my life and nothing was really moving. So doing something like this makes it seem like I'm actually progressing in life. Even if it's just an illusion, it looks like I'm doing something. Okay, the new mattress is here. I don't even know how I got this up the stairs. It was actually so heavy and someone didn't help me. They just watched me struggle. You just watched me struggle. So when I ordered this online, I actually thought that they had some sort of service where they took your old mattress for like a fee. And they didn't do that, so... Oh my god, what am I supposed to do with this? Mmm, maybe I can burn it. <laughs> just kidding. My friend comes back and it's like, Oh, I just accidentally set your house on fire. My bad. So good news, my table has arrived. Bad news, this giant bed is still here. I think the plan right now is just to move everything out in the balcony, and then eventually I'll call a mattress removing company, or maybe just some guy on Kijiji. I mean, as long as they take all my garbage and the mattress and everything, I don't really care who it is. As long as they don't kill me, that, that would be preferable. Oh, fuck. oh my god, it's so heavy! Oh my god! Uh, this is nasty. Turns out I was too weak to lift a full queen-size mattress out of the house, so my dad had to come help me. Whew. Okay, mattress is gone, for now. If I don't see it, it's not there. Okay, we just built this box spring. Okay, okay how should I do this? I remember the tip was to tilt it and then you slowly pull it out. Oh, no. I remember seeing a TikTok, someone bought a foam mattress mm -hmm. and they opened it like this with scissors and it went <sighs> Alright, this is my mattress so far. I think it's pretty good. I, I feel like I spent like an hour just laying on beds seeing which one's nice. This is my room so far. There's pretty much nothing in here other than a bed. Oh, and I guess there's this uh, chair from the kitchen. I don't have a dresser or a table or anything to put my clothes yet. Cause you know, when you get home and you want to put your clothes somewhere, you don't want to throw them on your clean bed. You want to put them on a chair or something. So here are my clothes. Um, they're just a bit small, but that's okay. I'll, I'll lose weight for my new year's resolution. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All my clothes are in the other room. These are um clothes for a dog or a small child, maybe if they had like Four legs. I also got this rug that I was planning on laying out under the bed. I googled a bunch of pictures on bedroom layouts and how to make it look a little nicer. And it said that a rug is supposed to make it seem a little bit more roomy. I also don't know if I can return this if I don't end up liking it, but I mean, I did spend like 10 minutes picking it out, so I feel like this should be a good choice. <laughs> this room looks like a prison cell. Nico, you never help with anything. All you do is stare at me and just smell things. I've never bought a rug before. Are rugs supposed to smell like 
this. Like for every year that I get older, the feeling of me being like, I don't really want anything for Christmas increases. But hey, when you move out, you need to buy a lot of things. So if you move out when it's Christmas or your birthday, um, good time to ask for household items. Okay, this actually smells. I, I like, I, I never bought a rug before. I didn't know that they, they smell like this. Mmm, that new rug smell. Hope it's not chemicals. Oh God, I have to move all this by myself. Uh, wish me luck. Oh my God, this is a long rug. Funny enough, my dad actually asked me if I needed help. And since I'm a young, healthy person, I said, no man, I got this. Oh my God. Ugh. Hmm, turns out I'm not as young and healthy as I thought. Yeah, this isn't bad. I like this. You know what? I think that actually made a difference. It seems a lot less um prison cell looking. Not bad for my first room, living on my own. Whew, I am out of breath. The thing with me is that I'm actually very impatient. So my plan was to just buy all the stuff and have this be fully furnished in a day. But I've learned that decorating your room takes time and a lot of money. So if I'm spending a lot of money, I should probably take my time and <laughs> carefully pick things out. But yeah, rugs are so expensive. I wish it only sold like the parts that I needed because I don't need, you can't, no one's gonna see the rug underneath. So if I could pay like an extra $50 less to not have that part, I, I totally would. I like to save money, what can I say? Right, Nico? All right, good news. The table that I ordered came in like a few days. It is quite large and I've never built furniture this big before. So I think I'm gonna need a hand. I actually called my friends over to help me. <laughs> Recommended people for assembly is one to two. Um, I only have one brain cell, which probably only counts as like half a person. If worse comes to worse, we have an extra brain. So I think the reason why it recommended one to two people to build this is because if you have an extra third person, they kind of just end up being useless and not really doing anything. Which, surprise, that was me. Actually, no, I did help. Um, I just felt like I could have helped some more. I read out the instructions for them. Does that count? I feel like they're doing everything. Did you say something to the camera? Almost done. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this well, for supper I decided to make some curry. I'm trying this kind for the first time. It's a Japanese curry mix. So basically all you do is just cook all your vegetables in this pot and then just throw the mix in there and curry. I hope this kind is good. I haven't had it before. Woo! Ow! Oh, it's like a brick of curry. I thought this was gonna be like a liquid. I was like shaking it for like five minutes. Mmm, looks like chocolate. Wow, this actually looks really good. I think, um, I think I just need to stir it a bit more. I'm not really sure when I turn into a cooking home lifestyle vlogging channel, but I mean, I'm not complaining. I hope this is okay with you guys. Oh my God, I've never been so hungry. I am freaking starving. Um, I'm not that hungry where I'm gonna eat this giant pot of curry because one, my insides would not be inside me anymore if I did. Ooh, yummy. Oh yeah, just like the anime. For my first time making curry, it is really not bad at all. Thank you, Curry Mix, for making it seem like I'm a better chef than I actually am. All right, so I think it's about time we uh, retired that name up there, Brayden. Brayden, it's been a good run. Have fun with your next life. Okay, my roommate said that you can just peel this thing off. It's just like a sticker. Ooh, Raiden. Maybe I can keep that up. That sounds kind of cool. Should I create another fake personality as a Raiden? Goodbye, Raiden. It was nice knowing you for two seconds. Ooh, Aiden. Sounds like one of those names that white rich moms name their children. So this table that I ordered from Amazon finally arrived, and my one brain cell pea brain was able to put it together all by myself. It was actually really easy. I, a one-year-old could probably have done it. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to keep this as like a nightstand or maybe just like a table on the side here and I can sit here and just think about what I'm doing with my life. And then I can hop into bed and just stop thinking about stuff. That's what happiness is, is when your brain stops working. You know, maybe I might move the bed closer to the wall so I have more room over here. Maybe I'll put the carpet like facing that way instead. Oh my God, this is so much thinking. Can I just hire like an interior designer from Fiverr to decorate my prison cell? Make it look a little bit more homey. It's been about two months of me living on my own and 
so far I think it's going pretty good. Or is that something that someone that's struggling would say? <laughs> like, I don't have too many things to compare to because this is my first time living on my own. And I'm realizing that things are expensive. And when you have to buy everything on your own, it adds up. Like, why is eating and staying alive so expensive? 90% of the time I eat at home and even I find that quite expensive. Although I eat quite healthy and it, I'm not just eating like ramen or instant noodles every day. Although if I did, I would save so much money. No, wait, I should be healthy. I was expecting to feel a little bit lonely at times and be like, oh, it's kind of quiet. Where is everyone? But it actually hasn't been that bad. There was a time when Nico was really sad for two days straight after getting a haircut and that really stressed me out. I did have friends to talk to and be like, oh, do you guys know what's happening? Because I was thinking, oh God, is he sick? Is he gonna die? What am I gonna tell his owner if he dies? But it turns out nothing was wrong and he was just being dramatic. Anyways, living on my own is going a little bit higher than average, I would say. Nico really woke up that day and said, I choose violence. And I said, I choose depression. Hey, so change of plans. So you know how this storage room was supposed to be my bedroom? There's actually three bedrooms in this house and two of them aren't being used right now. So I thought, what if I turned one into a bedroom and one into an actual office space so I can edit and do all my filming stuff in there? And don't worry, I asked my friend before doing this because I don't want her coming home and being like, what did you do to my house? So let me give you a little tour of what I've done. It's not gonna be that exciting. I'm not best dressed or anything, but it definitely looks a lot less prison cell-y than before. Welcome to the finished result. Ooh. So half of the stuff in here is mine, while the other half is actually my friend's. I didn't have time to buy all the stuff that a bedroom needs, so I'm just borrowing a few things just to see how it looks. It's just for a little bit of inspiration. I will give it back, don't worry. Uh, my friend watching this though be like, you guys probably remember, but initially I had the bed facing this way and I found that it took up a lot of unnecessary space. So putting it in the corner over there just freed up so much room. I borrowed my friend's little nightstand and this lamp, I find that the overhead lighting isn't that great in here and just having a lamp really sets the mood for, um, you know. Hey Alexa, night light. Wow Alexa, that looks nice. I put Mr. Jungkook up here in case uh, demons want to come through my window. Here's a POV for you of me sitting in the chair. You can see my bed, you can see uh, uh, this nice flower, oh god, and the hole in the wall, just ignore that. But yeah, overall, I feel like it gives off pretty good vibes. I feel pretty comfy in here. And it doesn't feel so much like a prison cell anymore, which is a plus. Uh, excuse me, what do you think you're doing? I didn't say this bed was for dogs. This is a human's bed. Don't look human to me. Okay, well, I guess you can stay on the bed just for today. I guess you're just gonna take advantage of this, huh? Oh my god, why is this so cute? Even though he's stinky, he's still so cute. And this right here will be my office now, or my soon-to-be office. Office makes it sound so professional. It's pretty much just a room where I have my computer. But I think so far, I'm really liking this layout. Because now I have this area to do all my filming, and then after that, I can just pop on over here to do some editing. Yeah, I'm really glad I spent like two to three hours picking out this desk. I'm also not sure how I feel about this lighting. I might change the bulbs just to make it a little bit brighter. Because I think spending eight hours in this room editing something would make me depressed. It's just so freaking dark, and I feel like my eyes would start drying up and shrivel out of my head. While I was shopping for this desk, I also ended up getting a new mouse pad. Just to reinforce the fact that I love dogs. I really like this part, it's uh, very squishy. This is what my old mouse pad used to look like. I don't even know what that is. I, what is that? I'm pretty sure I've had this for maybe 11 years. So yeah, I don't know. It just never occurred to me to change this because, oh, you know, it gets the job done, so whatever. But then I took one good look at this and I was like, get this away from me. So yeah, we're gonna retire this crusty thing. And I also ended up getting this shelf that I didn't get a chance to put up yet. But it's supposed to be like a corner shelf type of thing. So I'm supposed to like staple it to the wall and then I can, I don't know, put a plant there or some books. But yeah, that is the office space. Ah, uh, let me, let me. Huh. Oh, okay, I'm all done, for now at least. You know what? Cleaning feels really good. When everything is all neat and organized and not in chaos like my brain sometimes, life just feels a little bit better. Because even though I'm working a lot and doing a lot of things, sometimes it just feels like it's never enough. Especially when it's doing things on the internet and social media. Because there's not really a goal that you can hit where it feels like it's enough. Because you always need more and the numbers never stop. But cleaning is kind of therapeutic. Like once you put all the work into it, you can actually see the finished results. And with 
with that tension out of the way, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're staying sane and hopefully 2021 will be a little less traumatic and depressing. If you want to see me and Nico pop up in your recommended, make sure you leave a like and a comment for that nice engagement. I'm also feeling like this wall needs some more art. If you're an artist and you draw, let me know on Twitter or Instagram because I will gladly commission someone to draw me some art. Because the other option is drawing art myself and I don't really know if I want to do that.